Evening. Since Laner disappeared Friday while training with the underwater recovery team, crews from across western New York and beyond have gone all out hoping to find him. And today, divers, robotic cameras, and advanced sonar looked underwater as the state police and Erie County Sheriff looked down from the air. Hampering, though, the efforts today, challenging conditions in the river, but officials emphasize they are not giving up. Police admit this is now a recovery mission, something friends of Officer Laner are trying to come to terms with. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Rusak spoke tonight with a woman who calls Laner her little brother. He joins us now live from Broderick Park. Good evening, Jeff. Jeff and Ashley, the search for Officer Laner will continue here in the morning on Unity Island. Tonight, I spoke with some of his friends who say the 34-year-old officer is a real Superman. The fourth day of searching for Buffalo Police Officer Craig Lehner has come to an end. There's still no sign of him. With the worst expected, friends look back on a life well lived. Gina Belmonte and Lehner became close while serving their country. She says everyone looked up to him. They idolized him. They called him Superman. So, um, you know, basically just laughing, doing duck faces, because that's what we always used to do is duck faces. And, you know, it was just fun. Dustin Lovell tattooed his friend more than 100 times. Well, Craig was a good guy. He was just uh, super genuine. He was, you know, a, a silly guy who could make the funniest jokes and be super serious when he needed to. One friend from the 105th Military Police Company says it was clear to see Laner's passion. But I know he loved doing what he was doing uh, with the police department. He was fully committed. Laner's friend, Yena, tries to take some meaning out of his disappearance. It's about living your life and not... Not worrying about tomorrow being your last day because you never know if tomorrow might never come. Here on Unity Island, crews say they plan on searching until they bring their brother home. Live in Buffalo, Jeffrey Sack, 7 Eyewitness News.